Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. The things that many people do not understand, God is revealing them to you, and you are now walking in, the, in understanding. Somebody hear me. You are walking in understanding. You are walking in in a very powerful understanding and this understanding it is something that so many people don't know how it comes about hallelujah you see things before it happens you feel things before it happens you just find out things that everyone thought was going to be hidden from you <laughs> but suddenly you just found that and it come to light. This is something that caused many people to wonder. How are you finding out all the secret? How are you finding out all the things that they conceive in their heart? How are you finding out all the proposals that they propose in different places? Why? Because God has given you wisdom. Hallelujah. You are walking in powerful wisdom. That is why you can find out. Many people are so shocked. Hallelujah. One thing about God, God revealed things to his own. The Bible says where there is no revelation, where there is no knowledge, where there is no prophecy, say the people destroy. You understand? So when God brings his word forth, his thoughts for us to hear, it is for us not to be destroyed. It is for us to receive correction, direction, to receive whatever that the Lord has proposed for us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible talks about a man called Nebuchadnezzar. In the book of Daniel, the Bible recorded that Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And when Nebuchadnezzar had this dream, he assembled everybody. He commanded to call the magicians. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, in, in Daniel chapter 2, it said, Then the king commanded to, to call the mag magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers, the sorcerers, the sorcerers, and the shanders. For to show the king his dream, so they came and stood before the king. You see the danger of people going to Tarot. This is it. You see the danger. These are the things that they use. They are magicians, astrologers, sorcerers, the shanders, for, the, for to show the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king. Hallelujah. Though that is not the direction of going, the direction of what all those people are using, but this is it. All of these people came together. All of these powers that are not of the law, they came together to try to understand the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, but none of them, none of them. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 2 verse 14 that Daniel revealed the dream. The dream is revealed to Daniel. God revealed the dream to Daniel. Yes, I tell you that the, the magician, the Shandias, the Shandias, the astrologers, the sorcerers, the sorcerers, they were surprised to see that a man like Danny have understanding of the dream that they could not even understand. There are so many things that people talk that it is hidden from you. But God is a God that revealed the deepest things, hallelujah, to his people. And God revealed everything. That is why you can start and block whatever they want to do that is why you can feel not to go to a place whenever you whenever you are invited you are like 
I don't feel like going here. Something is not okay. Something is not right. I don't feel like going to this party. It is the Spirit of the Lord telling you, don't move. Oh, I know it's going to be so fun in that party today, but I don't feel like. I don't feel like something is not just okay. Suddenly, you did not go to the party. Suddenly, the drink that was that they were going to poison to give to you, they begin to question themselves. How did she know that today we were planning to poison her? How did he know that today that he was planning to we were planning to poison her? Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is alive inside of you. Somebody said to yourself, I have the life of Christ in me. Hallelujah. You have the life of Christ in you. When you have the life of Christ in you, you cannot just walk anyhow. You don't walk anyhow. You walk with understanding. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 2 in verse 22, the Bible says he revealed it. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the dark, in the darkness. And the light dwelleth in him. He is the light. So God knows what is in the darkness. Everything hidden in the darkness, you find out. I don't know who this person is. The way you just begin to find out things, the way you just begin to find out things, find out things, find out things, is even making many people to be scared of you. You just find out things. You just hear things. You just see things. You just, the things are just like, everybody is looking at you like, how are you finding? How did you know? How did you know? How did you know? Because you are a child of God. The Bible said that dream is revealed to Daniel by God. Hallelujah. So the secret is revealed to us through God. The Bible said he revealed a deep and a secret thing. He know it. He, re he revealed it. The things that the shandas, the sorceries, you know, the, the whatever astrologers, could not see, could not reveal. God can reveal it through his own. Hallelujah. So child of God, when you begin to see things, you find out things, you find out all the secret that was just going on around, around, around you. Child of God, you need to understand. Understand. Hallelujah. Understand that you are walking in a very high wisdom. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. He said, what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth in him. He changed the times and the seasons. He's God. He revealed what will happen in times to his own. He revealed what is happened to, to uh, 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 what will happen in season to his own. The Bible says in that book of Daniel chapter 2 in verse 21, he said he changed the times. God changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings, his God, and set up kings. He giveth kingdom unto the wise and, and knowledge to them that know understanding. Knowledge. When you walk in the knowledge of God, you walk in the understanding of the Lord. I tell you, the secret things will be revealed. People look at you as if maybe you are a mysterious somebody. Like you are so mysterious. How come and dear? And if you are not even, you will see that they will they can even call you a witch. Yes, you will see people practicing witchcraft, sorcery, shandas, astrologers, practicing different kinds of things, voodoo, tarot. They will even call you a witch. You are like, if I am a witch, I wanna be a, I wanna be one of you. I am not a witch. That is why I'm not one of you. You understand what I'm saying? So if you were a witch that they call you because you find out things, because you see things before it happens, if you were to be a witch, as they say, you would not be among them because they work together with witches. Yes. They work together with different powers. So you will not be a part of them. When they are being exposed, they will want to call you their own name. When they are being exposed, they will want to call you their own names. 
to make it look as if, oh, you are not of God. Child of God, you are walking in high knowledge, understanding, and wisdom of God. You will continue to be a mystery to so many people because God will continue to reveal the things, the things in the darkness that he, he knows everything. No matter how dark it is, God knows what is in there because light dwells in him. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And the mayor sister evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.